Mr. Witcher. Mr. Witcher could be coming any moment. He could stop the world. He could pass the bell, Kosa. The world shall end in thou who needeth. Witcher's minions. All clear. Witcher shall be pleased. Someone that does not obey the new laws. Witcher Bumminth. I knew he was going to be behind all this. Of course. He he decides to end the world after passing that law. Since, since there are no new bright ideas, he can now pass whatever he wants. Witcher, as a young boy, always thought that the world was his to conquer. And yet, finally, if, as I knew, he was the one that destroyed the city. He was the one that had got the minions to kill everyone. Well, most people that did not survive his wrath of evilness. And there he might be coming. Mr. Blumenthal. My master. Thank you, Beanie Bean Nye. But I think it's time we get one of these pathetic children. They think they can defeat my purposes, my laws, my power. But my laws have power within them. And it is only a matter of time before I kill them all. It looks like I'll have to do with this pathetic, pathetic one myself. Why are you just standing there? Get that child! He defeated me! Me! Witcher Blamenthai! Well, that's not my name, but... Whatever! Kill him! That Witcher guy could literally destroy this entire... I don't know... Area? If I don't do that hair. I mean, he's already destroyed half the world. I mean, it's only a matter of time before... Eh, uh, what's happening? So, this would not be an anti Kosa documentary without any anti Kosa message. Now, Kosa in itself was a bill to be passed of basically a COPPA 2.0. If you don't know what COPPA is, basically it's a protection act. So, we have to discuss what is COPPA. So COPPA was, um, was supposed to be, in 1998, they built it. It's basically supposed to be, you know, it doesn't collect data of children under 13, which is a good law. It sounds like a good law until you realize how deluded it is. You see? Uh, hold on. Anyhow, guys, uh, COPPA, well, it got, let's just say, a lot deluded. When people started, when the law was passed in 2000, barely anyone knew about the law. In fact, a lot of people under the age of 13 were allowed on the internet because there was not much, uh, there was not many people trying to attack and get your information. You know? Now, on major sites, uh, things got collected. Around the year 2011, there, there was a lot of cybersecurity breaches and stuff related to that. So in 2013, the end of the, end of the old internet happened when Windows XP ended, and more importantly to this video, uh, Windows, I mean, not Windows, geez, my, my brain's stuck on this Windows XP video, uh, COPPA was made stricter. This would, this would, of course, be to reinforce and change some of the laws surrounding it to make the privacy laws even stricter, and this just decided websites to just exclude people under 13 from even joining. In fact, this, in fact, this is all def. Oh no, my phone. Um, this is definitely not related to anything, like at all, about COSA. COSA is gonna be even worse than this, just to let you know. So in COSA, it sounds like an even better idea. It protects kids' um um privacy under 17. It sounds like a better idea. The problem is what we review with COPPA also comes to this. So that means no teenager is gonna be able to use the internet anymore. Not even with point of permission, which is kind of, kind of dumb, in my opinion. So the reason is, I don't not like COSA at all. I just feel like COSA or COPPA 2.0 needs a lot of changing to happen before it can become an official law, especially in the year 2023. 
Like data collection is 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 inevitable. In fact, with Papa and right now, you if you're under thirteen, Google will still collect your personal information. I think the DOJ has sued Google multiple times for doing this. You know, this is this is insane. Uh, they do they do it even more to people under thirteen to, than people um over thirteen, which is probably why coast what just probably why laws like Costa and Papa need to exist is because people just won't follow the laws, and so the laws have to be made even stricter because they don't follow the original laws. See, this is what happens when you don't follow the law. The law becomes even stricter to where you don't have any other choice than not to follow the law. So. Costa, what comes with Costa here, is the basically this guy called, uh, hold on, let me figure this guy's name, Sen Senator Richard Bumenthal, this, this guy, he makes this Costa law, so, you know, there's a bunch of stuff against it, but, uh, if I haven't already, C. Hertz is going to be my new YouTube name, or maybe it won't, I have to decide, but Certs.net, or it said Certs, but it's actually spelled C H U O T S. I'm gonna make. Hopefully, it's not already registered by something else. I want to make this domain um a and let's just still say an anti cosa and anti copper website where you can go to and there's forums about it. There's a lot of useful tools and stuff, programs, stuff like that, a bunch of stuff, but. Basically, the annoying internet can be uh, destroyed. I mean, the annoying internet, I mean, not the annoying, the um, internet can be destroyed by annoying people, which is mostly why uh, this Bumenthal guy exists. See, Mr. Witcher, Mr. Bumenthal here, he, he just, uh, he just wants to destroy people. He wants to just remove them from the internet for no reason. Even if they didn't do something wrong, it's like they did something super wrong, and a lot of people think that it's legitimately a law to break if you don't follow, which it isn't, a lot of people, I read a video, the reason is because there's the 12 incident on uh, major sites, where if you say you're 12, you immediately get banned, or anything under there, of course, um, so, yeah, it, it's like, they think it's actually a law, they think it's actually a law, if you break the law, you know, you don't, it's not about that. They don't want to stop people. People themselves haven't read the law. I've read the law myself here, the COPA law and the COSA law, but they just, there's some things that could be made improvements. Now, I will talk about some of those improvements at the end. Some of them I might not because of simply they would never get accepted by anyone in the high government because of how messed up we are right now. But, Yeah. So now that we've gotten into over what is COPPA and why COPPA is so bad and all that stuff, we can now talk about why COPPA is uh, dying and why COSA or COPPA 2.0 will completely destroy the internet. Now, most of you watching this don't know, but there's a lot of people under the age of 13 on the internet. And this is a problem to fat Discord people on YouTube that like to comment on your videos and say that and literally just cuss at you 99.9% .9 of the time in your comment section. Keep deleting that same comment and ends up blocking that person from your entire YouTube channel because you're under 13. Or because of legalized ageism. Like, how much do I have to shout legalized ageism again? I've been shouting it for the past two months now. I promise you. Out on the streets, in the halls, in the uh, outside places. But anyhow, yeah, Copa and Costa is not a is not a very like big, big, big problem for a bunch of teenagers to handle, right? You would be wrong. If I was to assemble a internet forum big enough. It would have to be so big that people all over the internet would be against this COSA law. Like, I have no idea how many people would be, uh, how many people would not like the COSA law, uh, is detrimental. And people, and there's a lot of people under the age of 18 or 17 in COSA's eyes on the internet. And most of them are just browsing on YouTube every day and then getting off for a couple minutes, you know? And now, uh, just gonna uh, people are gonna be offended by them existing, and so 
you know, this at the end of the day, this is our fault. This is people's fault for not following privacy regulations. And why companies like Google need to get need to get their belt straight and start doing what the original law said. Nothing more and nothing less, you know? Like there's not enough of copper there's not enough copper compliant people to go around, but there's also not enough non copper compliant people to go around. It only comes up to a battle of the ages where the end of the the thirty old world, aka the internet, is um well completely um obliterated. Let's just say it. it'll get obliterated by people because of this law. Kappa and Kosa have been here since, uh, Kosa has been talked about since 2021, and Kappa has been, has been alive since 1998. Do you hear that, 1998? Hear that, 1998? This year, this year is going to be the last year I can go on the internet and say that, go on the internet and say that I'll be able to use to use YouTube and not get banned immediately. And when I get banned from YouTube, I would have had already, by this forum that I'm developing currently, completely a blend away to COSA. If I get enough people, if this reaches out to people, if you'll click on, if you will go to the description, if it is there, it'll be there in the comments or description. Just ask me where it is. I can probably reply to you with the development version. See how it's, that is, or such, C-H-U-R-T-S, will come, the net forum, and um, an internet war I will start, and we will win it. And if we don't win it, I promise you, I promise you, if we don't win it, this is going to be for something. And if we're not compliant to this law, that means we've already won the war. Didn't you get this? If you're not compliant to the law, you've already won the war. If you're not compliant, you've already won it. That's part of the war. Don't be compliant when it comes out, if I haven't won already with the search project. Um, but this is me signing off, basically saying the end of the 30-year-old world is near. The time the time of the Ten Kingdom, the time of... It's 15 now. Jeez, there's so many social medias. The time of the 15 social medias has come. People are going to start running for their lives. Or will I just packing up their email boxes and backing everything up to hard media? And an internet battle will strike where websites might go down for really long times. And I'm not, and I'm probably going to end up studying this and a lot of other people. So that's me signing off with my anti copper message. Hope you liked the beginning of this video and I hope you liked the end of it where there's a, uh, very cool song that I'll be developing coming soon, so maybe that'll be in the video, maybe it won't, but sign off. Tactical news!